What is up people, how's it going? This is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we're going to be looking into building a very simple audio recording application uh, that just records your audio. And we're going to be introducing also a library called Splier. And that's what we're going to be finding out in this video. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by an academy. There are three batches that have been launched on 20th and one today on 21st of July. There will be definitely one relevant batch that you guys are looking for if you want to ace any product engineering interviews. First is the Brahmahastra 3.0 and an exclusive five month learning track for college and off campus placements related courses. This batch is for beginners and will start with max and puzzles for interview preparations and then move on to sorting and searching and all the topics that you need in order to cover your product placement interviews. Then we have Ekala VR 3.0 which is a complete course on programming in Java. This is a 7 month batch for beginners focusing on Java uh, which will cover everything from building blocks of programming to recursion and dynamic programming and including graph algorithms with extensive problem solving. The third and the final one is a six week master course on advanced programming topics, which will cover advanced dynamic programming, segment trees, advanced graphs, and many more interview preparation topics. The course plans of these batches are given in the description. So definitely check them out and you will find some of these batches very, very relevant for you. Use my promo code CODERMONG to get access to all free resources as well as get 10% off on your subscription. Let's get back into the video. All right, so as usual, we're going to be having our basic uh, stuff created. We're going to have the kiwi md uh, dot app, import md app, and we'll have the basic classes, uh, audio app, md app, have the build method, and we will have the main also created. We'll say audio app of dot run. right so this is going to be the base one so what you're going to be introducing for this one is called as plier you're going to be installing something called as plier so go to your terminal here just run pip install plier and it'll just take a couple of minutes to install so we'll just wait for that to complete and by the meantime you will start writing our next set of information all right once you're installed finish installing that you're going to install the second one which is called a spy object us uh, this is actually the main method. This is actually going to be the uh, class that is involved in doing audio recording for Mac related uh, systems. Mac and iOS, you need definitely need this. If you're doing it on uh, Windows, you don't have to need anything of uh, your audio. The player itself has equivalent bindings for Windows. And I don't think there is an equivalent binding for Linux at this point of time. So you can still do it on uh, Mac and Windows at this point of time. All right, so we have both of this installed. Let me clear it up so that uh, it's not going to affect us in any way. And the next step we're going to do is to have the basic stuff again, like, you know, build a very simple uh, Kiwi, Kiwi file, do all those stuff. So let me quickly do that from Kiwi.lang. We will have the builder. And the next one we're going to be having is from KiwiMD.uix. We'll have the box layout, MD box layout, and we'll have the Kiwi. Uh, basically, that's it. So next, you're gonna say is KV is uh, is equal to. Uh, we need to have this stuff created. So what I'm gonna do next is to have a simple class. Uh, let me call it as the audio interface. This is this interface will be basically a box layout. And what will happen is in, the, in, this, in this interface, we'll have two buttons. One is to start recording, stop recording. Both of that will come in one, one button. Followed by that, we're going to also have like a play record or the play option that is going to be also be part of this application. So in technically, we should be able to record and play in the same application. That's what we're going to be trying to do now. Make sure to inst uh, inherit the box layout uh, and we'll just get started from right here. All right, so we have the box layout. Let me just pass it for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to first construct our basic audio interface. So we just go here, we'll see audio interface off and all of these comes under the Kiwi itself, the KV notation that you have seen, uh, like seen a lot of times. So if you're just finding it different or finding it something completely different, make sure to check out my previous videos, all right? So we have the audio interface and you're going to be having two buttons inside it. The button one is going to be start recording. The second button is going to be stop recording. Additionally, we'll have a couple of labels the first label will point out if the audio is actually recording or not and the second label if we need it we'll just say the location where the file is going to be saved all right so first thing we're going to do is to just start with an import statement we will say import uh, audio player which is going to be using this from player 
dot audio the player dot audio uh, layer will already be using will actually have the audio player class which we are going to be using so we need to say audio interface which is a box layout should have an object of audio right so in order to do that we will just now um, be creating our first object property so object properties are nothing but an user defined property uh, for any class so this is going to be an audio that's what the object property we're going to create we just create an object property and uh, object properties needs to be narrated or needs to be defined so it's from uh, kiwi dot properties import object property all right we have the object property created and in the audio one we can say the audio is going to be of the type audio player uh, that's pretty much it we have created an object for that so now an audio player object is created and we'll just control the orientation as well just say the orientation is vertical you can have it horizontal if you want to and we'll get started the first one i said was an md label right we'll have a simple label on um, that says if the users uh, the audio is recording or not we will need to give it an id so i'll just give it as uh, uh, record or something like that we'll call it a state um, state is going to be the first one so the state will be saying if it's recording or not followed by that we will also set the text as this audio is um, we will say now string root dot audio dot state now this audio uh, is actually pointing to this one and the audio player object has an automatic variable called a state the state will be either record or recording and that's the state that i want it to print so we'll just decorate uh, or we'll align all of this in the later part for now we'll quickly now work on the next label the next label is for the uh, location of the file we'll say that uh, uh, probably audio location we don't need it but for now let's say audio is saved at plus st uh, string of root dot audio dot file path so this will say where the uh, file is going to be recorded or whatever file is getting recorded is going to be saved at that's also another important one all right so you have two labels one below the other the next is going to be where we need to have the uh, record button as well as play button so again i'm going to be using the md flat rectangle button i'm going to be using the md rectangle flat button i'm going to be using two of that so md rectangle flat button awesome and i'm going to be calling it as uh, id shouldn't be record button and this one i'll call it as uh, play button awesome uh, we need to give it some text so i'll just say for now the text is uh, start record or record and this text will be play so basically what will happen is when the uh, the these things created uh, it will have like two buttons one is to say record one is to say play uh, the next step that we're going to do is when the user clicks on this button which i want to now create when the user clicks on it what is the method that needs to be fired similarly when the user clicks on this what is the method that needs to be fire, fired so you're going to be looking into that and that's what we're going to be defining as well so we'll have it here the first method i'm going to be creating is to have something called a start recording and this method is just going to basically say just call audio which is going to be the object audio dot start record that's the basic method but additionally we need to also do is we need to control the state if the state is going to be recording uh, we will just say stop recording so this met button what i'm thinking is it will have start recording as the first text start record and when the user clicks on it it will start recording but how does the user stop it the you the text will now say stop recording so when the user clicks on it again it will stop so the first button is just going to be stop starting and stopping by itself So first thing we need is to just get the state of the entire audio, right? We'll just say audio uh, self dot audio dot state. If the state is going to be ready, that means that basically that you need to start the recording. 
awesome if the state is already recording just stop the recording what we need to additionally now do is to also update the labels the labels is going to be this one which is going to be the state uh, we will say that audio is uh, stopped audio is recorded all of that is going to be updated additionally we also need to update these buttons as well the record button with the start record button should now stay stop record and that's what we're going to be trying to do right now so we'll have another method we'll just call it as update the labels the update labels is now going to be holding what is the value for the record so record label will be from the ids we can actually fetch the record label as record button did we not get that from here we had it as a record button followed by that it also be having the play button we'll have it as a record button itself play button self dot ids of play button and followed by that we'll have the state label so to update it we need it we'll have the state so this is going to be from these ids that we just created audio location i don't want to worry about it all right what you're going to do now is to just check what is the play button state the play button should be probably uh, having the data as The play button should possibly be disabled when the recording is going on. So what I'm going to do now is to have a variable here, which is going to be a class variable. I'm just going to say has recording started and the recording has started. So just make it as two by default. This has recording will be false. So what I'm going to do now if the state or the record button or the play button uh, dot disabled is equal to not off has recording meaning that if the recording is started disable the play button if the recording is not happening just keep it as open so the user can play it so we control the play buttons disable position now the second thing that we're going to do is to update the text for the state which is going to be the label that we have we need to say audio is recording uh, we need to have all these things right so first thing we need to do is check the state All right, so this is what I've completed at this point of time. So we just now said, if the place or the recording started, just stop or disable the play button. So user does not click it and fire that method. Now, what we're going to do next is for the play button to be fired. Uh, for this, again, I'll have my method created. So this I'll say root dot root dot start recording. Awesome, we already have that method. Similarly for this, we need to have a method, right? So we'll just go here and we'll say, uh start playing something like that and again we need to again have all the basic stuff created you need to say state you need to have a state if the state is actually playing just say self dot audio dot stop if else that means that audio has to be started to play just the uh, and here as usual we'll have to call the update label so update labels will automatically take care of doing that all right so basically you're saying start the recording stop the recording start the playing stop the playing done but for this now we need to update the labels itself right you need to uh, fire probably this one here root dot start the playing Start playing right awesome so we need to next step say audio is going to be saved at or we need to update these values we need to update these values we need to update these values so based on what the user is clicking i'm going to quickly write some logic right down here and i'll just explain once i'm done awesome so i've completed working on it so what i'm done is the first thing first i've gotten the state uh, from the audio state so the audio state is going to be ready 
that means that the record button should say start record basically i'm just um uh, uh, clubbing everything from here and that's what i'm doing so the audio recording state is ready just say start record if the audio recording state is recording then just type stop recording and also disable the play uh, play button followed by that when the state is going to be playing just say stop audio and disable the play record button when the user is playing it do not play anything similarly from here i'm just going to say audio i mean like with the, if nothing or nothing of that is sort is happening then that means that play audio is going to be fired and that's what this button is also going to do so we are basically saying uh, are, are just creating a very simple update logic here and pretty much our app is completed so i'm just going to quickly run this application uh, make sure to check everything is fine everything is fine right all right so quickly make sure to build your string we already have the kv string from above and return the audio player audio interface because i want the box layout to be returned uh, we'll also make quick changes to the location and things that to, as actually going to affect it so what i'm going to do is just set the padding to probably uh, 250 dp or something like that just seeing how it looks like and the spacing between them will be uh, 20 dp fixed thing post that we'll also have the labels to also be fixed size hint why i want it to be none and um, similarly for this label also i want it to be none this one we can actually have the height uh, nothing else okay i fixed both of these labels i'm gonna run it again to actually have a good look into how it looks like Alright, so this is how my application is looking at this point of time. Yes, so this is how my application is looking like. Hope you guys can see it. I'm trying to uh, check if the recording is working fine. Click the start record button. Hey, hey, how's it going? I'm trying to say what is happening and things like that. Stop the recording. Now time to play the recording. Uh, hopefully you guys can pick it up from here. Okay, quick, quick mistake we did here. Instead of calling the play button, we called it, we called the start button, which is not how it works. So when the user is playing, stop it, else play the audio. Oh my God, big mistake. Run it again. All right, let's test this application out. First things first, you're gonna click record. Hey, how's it going? I'm trying to record and do all the stuff. Hey, hey, blah, blah, blah. All right, stop it. Now time to press to play. It's actually state is changing and I'm able to hear it. Hopefully you guys also do. Um, I'm not sure if the routing is working fine. Stop the record, stop the playing. So the entire portion is completed. Uh, you can test it out in your local system, which will definitely work. And also it says where my file can file is going to be saved. I can just I, I, I can even change it by going here and I can just say uh, location is going to be basically I can just set my location here so the location is the file path right I can just change the file path and I'll still be able to save it so that's how the basic basic audio recording app has to be created the code for this is actually available in a github repository I just link that in the description below it's from the plier itself it's actually the plier example app I have modified it for the kiwi md so hopefully you guys found this video informative if you found it do not forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel upcoming videos are going to be crazy we're going to do a lot of different new projects hopefully you guys also like it i'll see you guys in the next video until then Bharat, peace out have a super awesome day